Sarah Ferguson and Prince Andrew's fairy tale marriage broke up in 1996. The couple announced their amicable separation in 1992 and divorced four years later, ten years after tying the knot at a lavish royal wedding in Westminster Abbey in July 1986. This is certainly a unique couple who have attracted much attention over the years, and even rumors of an affair. Sarah and Andrew remain very close, not least because of their daughters, Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie. They are now also the grandparents of two grandchildren, and soon to be three. In a previous interview with The Telegraph, Sarah confessed. We are divorced from each other, not from each other. We are co-parents who support each other and believe that family is everything. I am proud of the work we have done together raising our children and keeping the family unit strong. Our main words are communication, compromise, and compassion. Sarah has talked about her life at Royal Lodge before. Prince Andrew moved there with his daughters in 2004, after renovations were completed, and his ex-wife supposedly joined them in 2008. Although Sarah has lived there for years, she does not consider it her home. When I'm in the UK, I'm lucky enough to stay at the Royal Lodge, she told the Telegraph newspaper. I wouldn't call it home because that would be pretentious. The 30-room grade 2 listed residence is stately on the outside and gorgeous on the inside. Sarah often shows the inside of the lodge on her Instagram and also uses the space for her YouTube channel, Fergie and Friends, where she reads children's stories. Speaking to USA Today about her unusual abode, the Duchess said, Andrew and I are the happiest divorced couple in the world, we're extraordinary, aren't we? We live in the same house, but it's a big house, so that's fine. But I think it's great that we believe in compromise and communication and compassion. And in family, 